Hey everybody, it's your boy Ron. Glorious day. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And I just seen an article headline that I, I, I'm just thrilled. I mean, I thought it would happen sooner, but better late than never, right? Uh, this is the headline I'm talking about. So President Trump has pardoned General Flynn. Let's, um, let's, let me read the story. I'm just really happy because well, what's, what was going on with that judge? It's just, it's just insane how when the government finally comes out and says, yeah, we screwed up, we don't want to press any charges, we accept his, like, just dismiss the case. And the judge just wasn't having it, getting attorneys. I've never seen nothing like that before. Headline, Trump pardons former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. President Trump pardoned Michael Flynn, his first national security advisor, who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contact, uh, contacts with Russian officials. The first of several clem clemency actions Trump took is expected to take, bef take, I'm sorry, the first of several clemency actions Trump is expected to take before he leaves office on January 20th. Huh. Yeah, that's another story. Uh, I'm not going to get into that right now. It is my great honor to uh, my great honor to announce that General Michael T. Flynn has been granted a full pardon. Congratulations to at General Flynn and his wonderful family. I know you will now have a truly fantastic Thanksgiving. Trump tweeted Wednesday. I wonder if they fact checked that. The president who has consistently argued that his 2016 presidential victory was undermined by the FBI's investigation into whether his campaign colluded with the Kremlin, is also reportedly weighing pardon, weighing pardon in former campaign officials Paul Manafort and Carter Page. He has already commuted the sentence. Commuted and pardon is different. Commuted means you don't serve any jail time, but that conviction stays on your record. A full pardon means it's wiped clean. That's it. He has already commuted the sentence of longtime political operative and confidant Roger Stone, who was convicted of obstructing the House's probe into whether Trump operatives cooperated with Russia before the 2016 election. The thing that gets me with all these convictions or whatever, whatever happened with the uh, fruit of the poisonous tree? I mean, if the whole thing was a hoax, how can you get convictions on all this stuff? Oh, lying if the main, you understand? Oh, it's just annoying. Well, yeah, we lied about the Russia thing, but you lied to us while we were questioning you about our lie. Anyway, go figure. Trump commuted Stone's sentence in July, days before he was be to begin serving 40 months in prison. Flynn, a retired Army Lieutenant General, pleaded guilty in December 2017 to lying to FBI agents about the conversations he had with then-Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak. Flynn later tried to withdraw that plea ahead of sentencing, claiming he did not intentionally lie. The president fired Flynn in February 2017 after it came to light that Flynn's contact with Kislyak was concealed from VP Mike Pence. Flynn had been on the job for just 24 days. Obama admin hated this guy because he was questioning things. He hated the Iran deal. Put it this way. I believe Obama told President Trump the two greatest threats to him is North Korea and General Flynn. Really? Um, according to the charges, Flynn denied that he privately asked Kislyak in December 2016 not to escalate the situation by retaliating against President Barack Obama's move to toss 35 Russian diplomats over Russia's meddling in the 2016 election. The Justice Department in May moved to drop Flynn's case before sentencing, arguing that FBI agents had no reason to interview him and any lies he told were not material. But a federal appeals court in Washington declined to order the dismissal, which as of Wednesday remained pending before U.S. Di District Judge Emmett Sullivan. This guy. Oh. President-elect Joe Biden allegedly suggested the Never Use Logan Act of 1799 as a rationale to keep open an investigation of Flynn that the FBI was prepared to close. 
The Logan Act bans ordinary citizens from conducting foreign dip diplomacy. It has never been resulted in a conviction and is widely considered considered unconstitutional. Then wipe it off the books. And if that was the case, John Kerry should have been convicted of it a million times already. A January 4, 2017 note attributed to disgraced FBI official Peter Stroke, who interviewed Flynn weeks later, says VP, meaning Biden, said Logan Act. That was the January 5th meeting, I think, in 2017. Transcripts, scripts, uh, transcripts of the calls between Flynn and Kislyak were released in May and show Flynn did discuss with the Russian ambassador both sanctions and a U.N. vote. I, I, I don't remember seeing anything about sanctions. It was talking about because President Barack, Barack Obama um, basically kicked out a bunch of Russian ambassadors and he was trying to say, let's not go tit for tat back and forth on this. In the 302s or anything, I don't see nothing about sanctions. I, no words on it. But Republicans said the transcript showed there was nothing improper about the substance of the calls, which Flynn made with knowledge of other Trump transition officials. In late April, Trump claimed that Flynn had been essentially exonerated of lying to the FBI after documents were released as part of a re-examination of his case, showing the then counterintelligence director of the bureau openly questioned whether the agency's goal was to get Flynn to lie. That's the one way he said also, get him the lie or get him fired. He's in the process of being exonerated. If you looked at those notes from yesterday, that was total exoneration, Trump said, of the newly revealed information at the time. These were dirty, filthy cops at the top of the FBI. And you know the names better than I do. And they were, were dishonest people. The president has issued 27 pardons and 11 commu commutations. Um, during his four years in office, he par pardoned former NYPD commissioner Bernie Kerrick and commuted the prison sentence of former Illinois governor Rod Bla Blagojevich. I can never pronounce his name. Blagojevich. The president has also talked about pardoning figures ranging from anti surveillance NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden to Tiger King Joe Exotic. So here you have it, folks. I mean, it's just amazing. Just, just. He, he's he's pardoned, so that's that. But it's incredible because this judge will be able to just go on about his business. He was railroaded, Michael Flynn. The DOJ dropping the, they dropping the case. Judge says, no, no, wants to know more, and actually took it to the appeals court and appeals court. The smaller one of them three uh, went against the judge two to one. Then he said, no, I want, to, I want it to be appealed in front of the 11 judges of the appeals court. And then he won that case. I mean, this is a judge inserting himself into this. It was just incredible. And I just want to know why. Why is he so adamant on not letting the DOJ say, we don't want to charge him? Drop the case. He just wasn't having it. But it doesn't matter now. But something tells me now that he pardoned him, we're going to find out why. The judge or somebody's going to say something now. But anyway, to General Flynn, if by chance you see this video, God bless you and your family. Happy Thanksgiving and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. All right. You stay safe and healthy. Peace.